Hi, this is Dr. James Isaacs again with Etienne Avalon. We want to talk about what is a movement. Maybe you're new to classical music and you see this movement, that movement. What the heck is this movement thing about? It's really simple. It goes back to Renaissance dance music. Composers would write pieces for different kinds of dances or movements. An alamon was a physical movement. They would write an alamon, they would write a jig, they would write whatever it was. It would go in the basket. The dance master would call up, okay, let's do that new alamon by so-and-so. This sort of just came down into suites of movements. It eventually uh, came into piano music, to chamber music, to symphonic music. That simply all it is, is a typical symphony would have a fast movement, a slow movement, a dance movement in three, and then a quick movement. And that's why it's called movements, it's sections. But another way of looking at it is these different pieces move you in different ways. If you come to the Tone Hall of Late and you see the Brahms, there's four movements, that's unusual for a concerto, and you will find that those four movements affect you emotionally, they move you emotionally, emotional, meaning something that moves you in different ways. That's all it's about. It's not any big, difficult thing. So, right, people think of these pieces as songs often. Yeah, but then we say, well, well, they're actually called movements, and this is just a great way of explaining where the concept of movement uh, comes from, the different meanings that it can have. Thanks. Yes, Excellent. and somehow they connect together. It's maybe like thinking of a triptych painting where you have three parts of the same painting, but that's really all it is. So come to Tone Hollow and be prepared to be moved by, some by the music, by some movements, <laughs> indeed. <laughs>